Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. You see their website right there. Right now is the time to call them. If you want a one-time treatment to prevent box elder bugs, ladybugs, think bugs, and who wants a stink bug in their house? Prevent those bugs from getting in and making your home their winter home, which means in the spring you'll have hundreds of those little things crawling all over the place. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, that's how I protect my home. I suggest you do the same. Family-owned business for more than 40 years. Give them a call this week. All right, I want to tell you about something else we got coming up. Thursdays at 7 p.m. on WTNZ Fox 43. That's starting on September 1st, right before the Appy State game. It's the Sports Source kickoff. I'll be there along with Jimmy Himes, Mike Griffith, and a couple guys who are with us right now. Will Overstreet, Sterling Hinton, depending on the week, it'll be one of you guys. So let's welcome in the panel here. Don't forget to watch that Thursday starting in two weeks. Will Overstreet. Fouad Reves, Shazan Bradley, who I have to salute because his McMinn County Cherokees knocked off my McMinn Central Chargers, <laughs> <laughs> and right down there, Sterling Hinton, John Peeps, in, in a bright, positive coat. Oh, you gotta love it, baby. With my dedication to Craig Sagan. Craig looks a little looks sharper good. there, right? Looks good. <laughs> hey, as soon as the heart news broke this week, Twitter took off with, "It's got to be Philip Fulmer. It's got to be Charles Davis." A couple of people said, "Peyton's not doing anything." But it's, it's, it was quick from the fans, get a Tennessee guy in there. Look, I didn't play at UT, but I went to UT. I would look at resume first. I run a business here. I, I look at resume first. Now, if you find the right resume, happens to have Tennessee on it, pluses. But I'm finding the best guy out there. How many of you, though, say, make it a Tennessee guy? Got to be a Tennessee guy. Well, I think we got a lot of Tennessee guys with the good resume. <laughs> I just swear I see it. I mean, you know, Dave Blackburn. I mean, Chris Fuller's there now. I mean, you got guys that the search team's job is going to be easy. Uh, Blackburn is probably the one that I think most people inside the university anticipate getting a phone call. I think he would walk through brick walls to get it. That's he, of right. course, is the athletic director at UTC right now, done a great job there the last three years. But also, before that, spent years and years and years in the UT program. Sterl, wasn't he? manager when you were there? Hey, my manager back in the day. Give me the rock right, baby. Yeah. Shazan, Shazan, I know you're feeling on this. You want a UT guy in there. Well, it's not an issue with the UT guy. You, we're sitting here with um, um, Philip Farmer. He has more dignity and more class than any man I've ever met in my life. He was not only a player there, but he was an assistant coach and a head coach. To look him over, you, you have to be sick. There's no, I mean, I, if but I But he hasn't I would, done the job. If I Whereas Blackman has. I, I think he has an MBA from the University of Vanderbilt. I'm not for sure. Sure. So he's probably pretty smart. And if you think about it, the troubles that, that, that we've had in the last few years with Philip, Philip there, we, we never had those kind of troubles. I would hire, when I was Philip, I would hire David Blackburn to do a little, a little bit of the heavy lift. <laughs> All right, so you're making a two for one. Fun. Uh, Does it got to be a UT guy? Well, I, I think it has to be a UT guy. And, and also, to remember this, the, UT, the athletic director is mostly a figurehead. As long as you fix football, everything else fixes. So I think he's got to be completely a UT guy. There's three guys with absolutely great resumes, and not to even consider any one of those three guys, to me, in my mind, is completely ludicrous. I would be surprised, you know, the, Charles Davis already came out and said, I would be flattered, but we have people in that field that you could go after. And he made it clear he's happy doing what he's doing. He's making more money, and he's not having to put yeah. up with... And that's, that's a real reason. Yeah, and, that's <laughs> really, you, <laughs> and let's face it, Will, yeah. that's a job. You know, coaches, they'll like you for a while, but right. then you're going to end on the outs. It's just ask Johnny Majors, ask Philip Fulmer. Being an alum doesn't mean much at the end. Uh, AD, they never like you. That's, yeah. You're the guy that anytime there's a loss on campus, your fault, you hired the coach. Anytime somebody says, we're going to need more for your parking pass this year, yep. hate the AD. So I don't know that for that reason, I would want to bring back someone who's an <laughs> alum. But Will is a guy who's owned, run companies. Uh, what are you looking at? Resume? Are you looking at Tennessee resumes? I'm looking at resume first and foremost. I always think you want to get the best guy for the position. Now, I think we've talked about a few guys that have all of those qualifications that also have the plus of being a Tennessee person. So I don't think you can, in this situation, say we don't have anybody that fits right. that mold that we could bring in and fits all those boxes. So I think this is a good situation. I think in the past you may have had opportunities where that wouldn't be the exact case. But right now it's, got, it's find the best guy, but you've got guys with Tennessee past. They've got to give, be given an advantage, an edge, because this is a figurehead position in some sense. You've got to win the press, you know, you got to win that yes. first press conference. It, that gets it off right. If you don't do that, you are, we already talked about it. after day one, they're going to start ticking some people off. 
Yeah. If you don't win that day one, then you've got a whole lot of people already on the other side of the boat that you're gonna have trouble with from then on. It's gonna be much more difficult. So I think in this situation, you've got the right candidates with the right backgrounds and with the Tennessee box, so it should be an easy choice for this group to be able to put And you especially have somebody right now who's actually employed, doing a great job, does a great job, has been here before, knows all the contacts, knows all the alumni. All the check boxes that you could possibly check are yeah. there with David Blackburn. So to me, it's almost like it, it's here, it's in front of us. Well, and I would, oh, go ahead. Will. I was just gonna say, my only thing is wondering, are you really gonna let this last until next June? And yeah. I don't think so. That's to me is the that crazy would be, part. Wow. If you know who you want, <laughs> the, the, you're gonna keep a lame duck in for that long, length of time, that's only totally gonna hurt well, you. Well, I, I think he'll be there, but I think they'll name their guy. And I, here's the interesting thing, if DiPietro, and I think the heart thing was pure DiPietro. I think if he makes the decision on who the AD is going to be, uh, then, he, then the AD needs to report to him. Because if you hire the AD and then go out and hire a chancellor and say, now you two work together, I think that's kind of asking that's, for problems. Yes. So if, if they make a hire here, if, it's, if they say David Blackburn tomorrow and you're starting June 1st or whatever, I would think it would be a better situation if from now on he reports directly to the president of the entire system. Whether or not UT is ready to go into that kind of direction like it used to be in the old days, who knows. Guys, let me ask you this one. If it is David Blackburn, uh, and that's, you know, we're putting, we're putting all the eggs in that basket, but if it is him, I think you probably would have some role in the athletic department for Philip Fulmer. <laughs> I do, I do. I think that Blackburn would be someone that would bring Fulmer back more into the fold, whether that's fundraising, whatever, it, Shazan suggested Fulmer with Blackburn. I think there's a greater chance of Blackburn with some more Fulmer. How can you take the head coach at the University of Tennessee and ask him to answer to Dave Blackburn? <laughs> well, he's not an athletic director. I don't think he'll be answering to Dave yeah. Blackburn. I think he'll be working with him. Those two get along very well. They know each other very well. And let's face it, it's all about fundraising. And think about this. You think Coach Fulmer wants to get those, all those headaches? He wants a part-time job. Yeah, he's think. Who, Hart uh, is retiring at 67, thing. former 66, and he's got he's got children, grandchildren. And he's happy. Uh, yeah. He doesn't okay. hear about all this. Sterling, I'll stuff. let you finish up here. Uh, if the best athletic, best AD in the country, pick somebody from a great school, best AD in the country calls up and says, "I want this gig," and hey. they're not no UT ties. What do you do? Hey, uh, when I'm I, kicking the shoes, you, man. No, no, I'm just going to be honest with my opinion. Says you let me close out. You're the best at some other school. You're not the best for Tennessee. I think right now Tennessee <laughs> has people with Tennessee ties that can fit this job and Boom. do a good job at it. Dave Blackburn, Chris Fuller, Coach Fuller, uh, Charles Davis, an incredible person. Uh, you know, so we've got people with Tennessee ties that can do a great job as athletic director here at the University of Tennessee. All right, guys, very good. When we come back, we're going to start really digging into this and speeding things up because we're <laughs> way over already. Butch Jones, a lot of people this week said, well, the jury's still out on him. You can't grave Dade hard on football. Jury's still out on Jones. Is it? How much is it still out? Come on back on the Sports Source. <laughs>